Here's a quick look at a feature that a lot of people don't know about that exists in the Move, Rotate, Stretch, and other Modify tools. What I'm going to do is I've got this, um, this little column here with a lot of segments, and if I use the Move tool, which is T, or uh, click the Move tool here, and I move this around, of course it moves the whole object. If I select a few polygons and, and use the Move tool, then it would move those. But what I can do is... Uh, click the Move tool, in for Numeric, and there's this feature here, the Fall Off feature, and I can change it to Linear, Radial, Point, Polygon, Point, Radial, which actually turns the Move tool into things like Magnet, Shear, Dragnet, where you wouldn't even need these tools if you use these, but the one that I want to look at is Weight Map, using a Weight Map, right? If I use Weight Map, and kick this off to the side, and come over to Weight, and go to pole and let's take a look at our weight map here and when I move it's going to move the entire object but it's going to move based off the gradient if this hot orange is a hundred percent and this is zero percent it's going to move this more than it's going to move that if I go to uh, rotate and use the weight map setting I can come out here and rotate around and create uh, a ring if I wanted to. Now another example would be if you took a face just laid out the flat topology so this is actually two-dimensional right and we painted areas that we wanted to be pulled out farther uh, with a higher percentage and uh, the areas that we need to just stay kind of in place or not move forward as much uh, have a lower setting. When we went to uh, T for move, make sure that the fall off is set to weight map. When we go to move, we can actually stretch out the face in three dimensions based off of the value on each point. The higher the value, the more it's going to be affected. The lower the value, the less that it's going to be affected.